what's up YouTube it's Blackwing2040 and I'm back for another video you guys today I'm doing another top 10 because I felt like it's been so long since I've done a top 10 video I forgot what was the last when was the last time I did a top 10 I did top 10 you know um fa top 10 favorite on um, Batman villains top 10 Spider-Man villains top 10 superhero TV shows top 10 X-Men I did a lot of top 10s, so I figured let me bring that back, and let me dive a little something deeper into everyone's childhood and talk about top 10 Power Ranger series. Now, guys, I understand I'm a big Power Rangers fan as much as the next guy, so just bear with me, please. If your favorite season doesn't make this list or doesn't even get an honorable mention, Please do not get upset, okay? This is my list. I'm telling it how it is. I'm telling you what my top 10 favorites are, and I'm giving honorable mentions. So, if you guys get upset if your favorite season doesn't make a particular mark point on my list, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about that. I understand you had a favoritism for that specific season, but just remember... This is my opinion. We all got to respect each other's opinions because sometimes when people make top 10 lists, they throw a fit automatic when they see some of their favorites don't even make the list or so low on the list. So respect my opinion. I respect everyone's opinion. So everyone has opinion. Let's keep it, you know, let's keep it civil. So let's begin, shall we? It's morphin' time! Number 10, Power Rangers RPN. I, and this Power Rangers RPM aired in 2009. So, here's the thing with RPM though. I didn't really watch, um, I wasn't able to, I did get the gist of RPM. I get what it was. I get what the plot was. The problem is for me, after, um, Jungle Fury was canceled, I mean, after Jungle Fury ended and Toon Disney became Disney XD, I was like, so there's no more Power Rangers on TV anymore? Because I, I really thought Power Rangers was canceled. So, I, lucky enough, I was able to find Power Rangers RPM on ABC Kids because I, I'm like, Toon Disney's gone. I'm like, so where's Power Rangers going to be on? And I forgot that Power Rangers used to air on ABC Kids. So, I thank ABC, ABC Kids for that because, whew, I was able to watch myself a majority watch myself i was able to watch a majority of episodes so i was able to figure out the main plot of the story of um this season how it had some it's dark though. not dark and gritty but it has some dark it has like a dark tone to it because you have the whole world being destroyed by a computer ai with a robot army and you have to you have all of the human race, all of civilization, in a, in a giant dome called Corinth. So, if you f just think about that, guys. Living in a society where the whole world's been destroyed and everyone's forced to live in a dome. That's just crazy. And the RPM cast was amazing, by the way. They are really awesome. It felt like when I watch, It felt like watching Power Rangers mixed with Fast and Furious because... RPM had like a rate had a race car theme to it kind of like It was just it was so awesome and plus I have to give props to The blue RPM Ranger because one he's Scottish I'm like I think that was like the first Scottish Ranger that we ever had in history So that's awesome and I think the actor is really I don't think the actor is really Scottish as well, but I just love the cast was overall awesome in general i loved it power rangers rpm number 10 number nine jungle fury this okay jungle fury i found was so so cool because the whole martial arts thing and kung fu mixed in with animal spirits i felt like i was watching an updated version of wild force because we had like jungle themed seasons before like wild force Jungle Fury makes the second jungle um theme season. I think you could say Power Rangers Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season three, where they when they learned um their ninja powers, that was pretty cool. But Jungle Fury, it was so so good. And 
not only that, we also got some more American only Power Rangers, the Spirit Rangers. I felt like they were underused though. I really wish they were there more often because there were times they would rarely call out the Spirit Rangers, which I don't blame. It's okay. It's the way the show was. I still wish they could have used the Spirit Rangers a lot more, but I really enjoyed every time the Spirit Rangers showed up on the team, on, on the screen, <laughs> when it was just so epic. And plus, that team has to be the first time we had eight Rangers. Eight, okay? So that's just, that's just amazing right there. So Power Rangers Jungle Fury, number nine. Number eight, Dino Thunder. I feel like people are going to hate me for this because Dino Thunder is so low on the list, but bear with me, guys. Dino Thunder is one of the dopest seasons of Power Rangers I have ever watched, okay? One, because Tommy was in it, and it was so legendary to have Tommy train a, a, a team of Rangers at that. That's awesome. Two, the team up with Ninja Storm was awesome. Three... Trent was probably the most savage evil rangers that we had and plus his suit every time Trent went super dino mode I was like oh my gosh it was just so sick and amazing the story was great and plus it was also another one of the seasons that took place in a high school because Mighty Morphin started on um, the high school thing it ran from Mighty Morphin all the way to Turbo and I don't think when it got to in space, I don't think they had um any high school high school um locations in the season. I'm pretty sure they didn't. But anyway, Dino Thunder was so awesome, and it also had one of my favorite generals. Also, Zeltrax. Zeltrax played no games. I love Zeltrax. He was awesome. So Power Rangers Dino Thunder number eight, number seven. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I know I'm going to get a lot of angry comments from this. But look, guys, bear with me. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the one that started it all, set the tone. It's the OG. I watched majority, I, hold, I watched like a bunch of episodes from Mighty Morphin. I didn't grow up watching it back, you know, back in 1993. I was born in 98. So... When I was able to watch like a whole list load, a bucket list of episodes, even the special ones like Green with Evil, I know darn well that's on everyone's favorite Power Rangers list. I mean episode list for that matter because Green with Evil introduced Tommy as the Green Ranger, how he became evil. It was it was a five part epi episode saga. It was so crazy, so amazing. It just, it was just, ah, it was so amazing. I loved it. And... I'm not saying Mighty Morphin should be my number one. It's one of the best. It's one of the best seasons, okay? It's the first one for Pete's sake. Come on. So I'm not bashing the season. I'm just saying I w this is how I feel about it. And it's just, there's amazing, they're amazing people. And plus, I met Jason David Frank, who played Tommy. I met David Yost, who played Billy, and Walter Jones, who played Zach. I met I met them. They're some of the nicest people you can meet, guys. They're really awesome. I told them they did an awesome job with the show. It's just amazing to see how their season started the trend for many Power Rangers seasons to come. So that's what's awesome about it. So Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number seven. Number six, SPD. I had to put SPD on this list because, come on, I just loved everything about SPD, how it took place in the future and how they lived on the planet with aliens and not only that their gear was so awesome not only it also had one of my favorite megazords the swat megazord i totally totally love the swat megazord without a doubt okay because the swat megazord was pretty much if you guys um watched um transformers generation one from back in the 80s the swat megazord it's kind of it's kind of like Megatron, to be honest, because Megatron transforms into, you know, his robot form and also into a gun. So I was like, oh, it just like it just clicked at me when I went back to watch um, SPD the whole season. I was like, oh, that reminds me of Megatron. I'm like, oh, snaps. So I love that little tidbit that they throw in there. I know most people didn't get it, but I caught it. So 
that's what's awesome about SPD. And plus, the cast of characters, it's awesome. The story was amazing. And, of course, we got some of the most funniest lines in history from SPD, thanks to Bridge the Green Ranger, who every time he had toast, he would always say, it's buttery. <laughs> so, Power Rangers SPD, number six. Number five, Power Rangers in Space. This, I feel like this season is also like the number one on everyone's list. And it is one of the best seasons. In Space, without a doubt, is so good. It is so, so good. Because the Rangers transition from being on Earth for many, for like four seasons straight to being in space for majority of the season. From protecting many planets to... We get the Psycho Rangers, who are probably the coolest amount of evil rangers that I've ever seen. Because the Psycho Rangers were just ah, so brilliant. I love them. We got our first Silver Ranger, Zane. I love Zane. He was awesome. Shout out to Justin um, Namio, if I said his name right. He's awesome. And not only that, we get probably the most heart-throbbing and saddest deaths in Power Rangers hi history. The death of Zordon. I kid you not. When I first watched that episode, it didn't, I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I first watched the finale of In Space, Zordon's death didn't really hit me as much. <laughs> because it took, me, it took me a while to get used to the fact. And then as I watched it many, many years, I've seen how much everyone loves Zordon so much. That when, he, when Andros had to kill him just to pay the ultimate sacrifice, I'm like... Wow. Just wow. And when you just when it plays that theme when he dies, my heart it just gives me chills. Like and it puts you in that sad moment because Zordon was one of those greatest characters that everyone loved. I I love Zordon. I love Zordon. Like he's awesome. So in space gets the number five spot. Power Rangers in space, number five. Number four. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. So, the season that took place after in space. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, I would say, is another season that takes place majority in space. Except, they're living on a space colony who is traveling to find a new world to live on. And, to be honest, the story in this um, season was amazing. It was excellent. And, plus, we got a team up from... The, in Space Rangers and the Lost Galaxy Rangers. And we also get the death of a Ranger in this. Kendricks, the Pink Ranger, dies in the second part of the team up. She sacrifices herself to save Cassie, the Pink Space Ranger. And then she dies, and apparently she comes back randomly. I don't know how. She comes back. She's revived at the end of the season. I really don't know how. It's Power Rangers. Let's just go with it. And not only that, the Magna Defender arc in um, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, that's a heart hitter right there. That is really a heart hitter. It's just, it's amazing. Lost Galaxy, it's just so, so amazing. Especially the finale in this. Lost Galaxy's finale was so epic. So, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, number four. Number three, Power Rangers Zeo. I love Zeo, okay? And when Tommy became the Red Ranger, I, I feel like Tommy is awesome as green, but I love Tommy as red. I feel like I love him a lot more as the Red Ranger. Adam became my favorite when I was watching Zeo. He became, he was my favorite Black Ranger. He was my favorite as a Green Ranger. He's just awesome. Just awesome. So shout out to Jason David Frank and Johnny Young Bosch. The matter of fact, the whole Zeo cast to be, to be honest. Jason David Frank, Johnny Young Boss, Catherine Sutherland, Steve Cardenas, Nakia Baris, who is, today is actually her birthday, by the way, so happy birthday to you too, Nakia Baris. And, of course, Austin St. John, who came back as the Gold Ranger, and David Yost, who played Billy. This was his last ever, this was his last season. He left somewhere in the, close to the end of the season, and it was such a fun ride. It's an epic season. The story arc in Zeo was awesome. It was just probably one of the best seasons I could ever watch. Guys, I re highly request that you watch Power Rangers Zeo. You will fall in love with it 
immediately. So Power Rangers Zeo, number three. Number two, Power Rangers Wild Force. This is a childhood favorite of mine because I loved, loved, loved Power Rangers Wild Force because it's one of those seasons that it was just so, the story in it was just so epic and the character dynamic was so, so well written and not only that, I love the Wild Zords in, um, in this season and not only because here's the reason why. The Rangers connected with their Zords, like heart to heart. That's amazing. I love I love stuff like that. When you have like a little heart to heart co conversation, you know, even though it's a mechanical, it's a mechanical robot slash animal, it's an awesome thing to just talk with it. And I love the bond that they had. And don't get me wrong though, when in the finale where the Wild Zords were destroyed. I was like, I was like, no, I really want to get up and scream and like, no, like I grew up watching Wild Force so many times. And not only I love Wild Force so much because Wild Force gave us one of the best team ups ever reinforcements from the future where they teamed up with Wild Force and Forever Red, which was the 10th, which is just 10 Red Rangers on one screen. Genius! Just genius, okay? Genius. Power Rangers Wild Force, number two. Okay, guys, so before I tell you guys my number one, here are some honorable mentions, and the honorable mentions are Ninja Storm. You gotta love Ninja Storm. Ninja Storm was awesome. The intro was awesome. The story was awesome. Just, just everything about Ninja Storm was so epic, amazing. Another honorable mention mystic force mystic force had a great great story and being the season to introduce magic into um the power rangers um franchise that was just uh, great it was amazing it was really great i just i loved everything about mystic force i loved it next honorable mention samurai slash super samurai because i had to put those two together they're pretty much one's a part one and one's a part two but pretty much it's the same story. So Samurai was an amazing season. Why? Because I get, I'm not saying it wasn't bad, but it was the season that brought Power Rangers back. Okay. It brought it back because after RPM got, um, ended and we had like, we went through a whole year without Power Rangers and Samurai brought it back. And I was like, yes, Power Rangers is back. And so that's the great thing about Samurai. All right. Next honorable mention, Lightspeed Rescue. So Lightspeed Rescue was just, it was an amazing season, by the way. I just loved everything about Lightspeed Rescue and how it influences with like real heroes, like firefighters, doctors, airplane pilots, um, marine biologists, lifeguards. It just, it had that real tone to it. And of course, another thing they fought demons in the show demons how crazy is that and the last honorable mention is megaforce slash super megaforce i'm gonna say megaforce it was enjoyable to watch i don't know if i'll ever go back to watching it megaforce was awesome super megaforce was enjoyable per se because megaforce was power rangers 20th anniversary season so there's that and super megaforce gave us the legendary war with every Power Ranger in history together on one screen. They had some they had some actors come back to make a couple of cameos, which was awesome. And then we got that big epic fight scene at the end, and it was just so great to see all of that happen right in front of our eyes. Though I feel like it could have been a little bit better, but it was still awesome to you know to pay homage to Power Rangers in general for being around 20 years. And right now, Power Rangers it's 23 years now, so can you believe we got 23 years of Power Rangers? That's just amazing. And my number one Power Rangers season is Power Rangers Time Force. I love this season. I just, 
I really, really love Time Force, guys. You don't understand how awesome Time Force is. Like, the story, the character development, the villains, it's just, just cool. It's just so epic. And pl let me say something about the villains, though. Ranzik, one of my, one of the most dopest, powerful, and savage villain, if I may add. One of the most savage villains. He even got redemption. That's the thing. I love what they. I love how Power Rangers does that. When they had a villain from a past season come back, which is, I'm talking about the um, team up between Power Rangers and Time, time Force and Wild Force, it was just so awesome for him to redeem himself because he hated humans because he was a mutant because he was different. He hated humans, and then in the end, he ended up saving everyone for for a mistake that he caused. And in that process, he became a full-on human in the end. I'm like, wow. I'm like, seriously, like, wow. Just everything. And, of course, I love the Jen and Wes relationship thing. That relationship goals for, you know, Wes and Jen. I wish they could have, I really wish they could have kissed. Because the only time we had Power Rangers kiss each other on the, like, lip lock, if I mean, if I would say lip lock, was Tommy and... And Kimberly, they're the only couple that ever Power Rangers couple that ever lip locked, ever. So yeah. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this top ten. In the comment section below, tell me what are your top ten favorite Power Rangers seasons. I'm sorry this video felt like a little dragged out. I wanted to give every favorite thing about each season that I said as possible. So let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Be civil about this, guys, please. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And until then, I am Vengeance. I am Darkness. I am Blackwing. Stay golden.